Over the last month or so, a series of accusations and tales about YouTuber and social media personality David Dobrik have been told and each one is seemingly more disturbing than the last. Tales of his earlier days with the vlog squad as they went and did all sorts of videos, mainly pranks, and have now been called out for their content, lack of consent with certain pranks, and more. And now, sponsors are starting to drop David Dobrik because of these allegations. David Dobrik says he is going broke after losing sponsors. In a recent episode of the Impulsive Podcast, David Dobrik's situation became the center of discussion. Logan Paul shared his take on what's next for Dobrik and his relationship with the Fallen From Grace YouTube star. David Dobrik has been on YouTube hiatus following multiple allegations of sexual assault and coercion. It has cost the star followers, brand deals, and control of his own app, Dispo. Initially hesitant to comment on the situation, Logan Paul carefully measured his words before speaking about David Dobrik. Calling Dobrik a friend and someone he likes, Logan Paul stated that he wishes for Dobrik to truly take accountability. He added that he had gone through a similar experience. Logan Paul took the time to reflect on his own situation, where he too was cut off and shamed as an influencer following the infamous Japanese Suicide Force video. Recalling his struggles with fans and sponsors, Logan Paul shared some sage advice for the YouTuber. David Dobrik has been taking a break from the internet as he works through the backlash and makes things right with the victims that have come forward. It is unclear how any of David Dobrik's content will evolve following the gravity of the allegations leveled against him. The YouTube landscape has changed in the days since insiders Kat Ten Barge published an investigation into an allegation of sexual assault against a former member of David Dobrik's vlog squad. Dobrik has since been temporarily demonetized by the video platform where he has 18.5 million subscribers, after Dominika Zagladis, also known as Dirt Dom, was accused of raping a woman on the night Dobrik's group filmed and uploaded a YouTube video about group sex. The woman, identified with the pseudonym Hannah in the article, described being blackout drunk and told Insider that Zagladis raped her while she was unconscious. The rape allegation has led brands to cut ties with Dobrik and other members of the Creative Collective, and it sent the future plans for Dispo, the photo-sharing app Dobrik co-founded, into turmoil. David Dobrik was one of the top 10 search terms on Google and also trended on Twitter in the article's wake. A lawyer for Dobrik previously told Insider in a statement, Anyone who knows him knows he does not condone misconduct in any form. Vlog participants provide consent before anything is posted. Whenever consent is retracted, posts are removed. Any insinuation of wrongdoing is inaccurate and defamatory. On March 16th, Dobrik posted a YouTube apology video on his podcast channel that referenced Stuff with Dom. The member accused of rape in the Insider investigation released the same day. He also directly apologized to former Vlog Squad member Seth Francoise, who recently told Insider he was traumatized during his time in the Creator Collective after a prank seemingly left him kissing a man when he says he only consented to kissing a woman. But social media users were quick to call Dobrik's apology video, titled Let's Talk, disingenuous, considering the podcast channel has a significantly lower subscriber count from his main channel and he turned off the comments section. According to Social Blade, a website that tracks social media data, Dobrik lost 66 million views in one day. On March 19th, he had 621 videos and 8,269 million total views. But as of March 20th, he dropped down to 616 videos and 8,203 million total views, suggesting that videos were deleted or removed from his channel. He's also lost hundreds of thousands of subscribers. As of March 30th, he's lost a total of 2.3 billion views in the last 30 days, according to Social Blade. It was not immediately clear whether Dobrik or YouTube was removing these videos. Dobrik and YouTube did not respond to requests for comment regarding the removal of the videos. Angel City Football Club President Julie Uhrman announced via an internal letter made public by sports journalist Meg Linehan that said Dobrik was no longer an owner of the soccer team. I want to address the current events with one of our owners and the steps we took to ensure we live up to who we are," Urman wrote in the letter. Angel City was built to lead by example, to set higher expectations, and to do the right thing, and even when the right thing is hard. To that end, David Dobrik is no longer an owner of Angel City. Olympic skier Lindsey Vaughn, Serena Williams, Natalie Portman, tennis legend Billie Jean King, and Los Angeles Sparks star Candace Parker are among the team's investors. 
venture capital firm Spark Capital, which led the photo app Series A funding round that earned $20 million, announced on March 22nd that it would end its partnership with the app and Dobrik. We have stepped down from our position on the board and we are in the process of making arrangements to ensure we do not profit from our recent investment in Dispo, the tweet said. Insider compiled a list of all the brands who have confirmed that they are no longer working with Dobrik, which includes HelloFresh, EA Sports, Dollar Shave Club, DoorDash, Chipotle, General Mills, HBO Max, Facebook, Audible, Bumble, Frank's Red Hot, Honey, and Postmates. Dobrik uploaded a second apology video to his main YouTube channel on March 23rd. The seven-minute video directly addressed the controversy surrounding the sexual assault allegation against Zagladis. I want to apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and values were compromised. Dobrik said referring to Hannah, I'm so sorry. He also said he would be taking a serious break from social media. March 25th, YouTube demonetizes Dobrik's videos. Insiders Kat Tenbarge and Tyler Sonnemaker reported that YouTube suspended monetization on Dobrik's three channels. This included his main channel, his second channel, David Dobrik 2, and the channel for his Views podcast, which he co-hosts with Vlog Squad member Jason Nash. The platform also announced the Gladys' main channel would be demonetized. We have strict policies that prohibit sexual harassment on YouTube and take allegations of sexual assault very seriously, a YouTube spokesperson told Insider. Insiders Kat Tenbarge and Tyler Sonnemaker reported that YouTube suspended monetization on Dobrik's three channels. This included his main channel, his second channel, David Dobrik 2, and the channel for his Views podcast, which he co-hosts with Vlog Squad member Jason Nash. The platform also announced the Gladys' main channel would be demonetized. We have strict policies that prohibit sexual harassment on YouTube and take allegations of sexual assault very seriously, a YouTube spokesperson told Insider. David Dobrik's net worth is much higher than your expectation. Yes, the famous YouTube, David Dobrik, is paid much higher than our expectations. However, he didn't gain it over the night. There are many efforts to bring him to this point today. David Dobrik YouTuber has earned all of its fame and fortune from the biggest video streaming platform, YouTube. But the question that pops in everyone's mind here is how many subscribers do David Dobrik YouTube channel has? And how much money does David Dobrik make so far? Moreover, there was a time when David Dobrik's net worth fell dramatically just after YouTube's adpocalypse, resulting in many advertisers pull off their sponsorships. So, find out the bumpy ride this Generation Z's favorite social media guy had gone through and where he stands today. David Dobrik is that bona fide social media superstar who is living the dream. According to Forbes, in 2020, 24-year-old David Dobrik is ranked 9th in the highest paid YouTube stars list. Although David's content creation has taken a break due to the COVID pandemic, there are no signs of slowing down his career.